What's going on everyone? Um, just got back. Um, today was quite an eventful day and it inspired me just to sit down and, and make a one-on-one -on -one sort of chat style video. And this video is more directed to meat, dairy and egg eaters, uh, non-vegans, people who still use products, animal products. I wanted to highlight the fact that a lot of you might not know because it's not advertised that, you know, not too far away from you right now, there's facilities that are slaughtering animals, abusing animals, torturing animals, not for, not far from you at all. I mean, I only had to drive an hour and a half away from me to come to a, a pig processing um, facility where they gas pigs. All right, so here we are just, we're just outside a major, major slaughterhouse here in South Australia and they kill over 600,000 pigs here a year. Okay, there we go. We're right behind a truck full of pigs. And this is the same street that the gas chambers are on. Through there is all chicken sheds. That's all chickens through there. And up here is uh, the pigs. I mean, they're gassing a lot of pigs over a thousand a week, at least 600,000 a year. And it was just a very eerie feeling to be out the front of uh, one of these places. And and it's not a, it's not a humane way to kill um, any animal, put them in a gas chamber. It's scary for them. They get electrically prodded. They don't want to go in. The reality is this stuff is happening wherever you are in the world, not too far away, just so we can eat trivial things like sandwiches and hot dogs and stuff like that. So after, after being at the at the gas chambers, we went for another uh, another drive to, to, to find some other animals. We went and hung out with some sheep, lambs, baby lambs. Sheep, you know, if their fate isn't to be killed and eaten young as a lamb, six months, sometimes younger, a spring, a spring lamb young as three months. If that's not their fate, then they're, they're, to, they're exploited for their wool. After they can't produce any more wool, um, they're killed. So that's the fate of sheep. Later, later on, we went and found some cows. My girlfriend, we, we went and drive around looking for some cows and um, she saw them and we went, we drove around, we thought they were full grown cows, but then we walk, walked up to the paddock and we seen that they were calves. I think one was a girl, one was a boy, because one had little horns and really timid, placid animals, beautiful animals, really gentle. Here you go. Ooh. It's really hard to gain the animal's trust, and this is what I want to focus on. Those animals, they trust us, right? That we are supposed to be their protectors, okay? And we stab them in the back. We, we betray them on every level. They trust us and we do this to them. Having that little calf sucking on my hand, because it's still a, but they were still just, just babies really. Like they looked big, but they were still babies. He didn't really have any teeth, and he was thought my hand was like um, their mum's teeth. Uh, the reality is, a lot of these these calves, they don't get, they don't ever get to suck on their mum's breast like they should, because we need that milk for us. Babe, did you feel that? Yeah. And about the humane killing methods, they're just, if you look at the, the animal welfare standards, even if they did adhere to those standards, the methods are horrific. You know that a, tw a, a one day old dairy calf can be killed with blunt force trauma to the head. So that can be a sledgehammer to the head. A one day old calf, okay? These are, these are, in, the, these are in the animal welfare guidelines for Dairy Australia. Check it up. Horrible, horrible. I mean, the other options are a bolt gun to the head, knife slashed across the throat. These beautiful, beautiful, gentle creatures who trust us. Yeah. And this is what we do to them. I'm, I'm not saying that you know meat, dairy, and egg. You're bad people. Not, not at all. You just, you just don't understand what's happening right under your nose. Okay, and it really is happening. 
Just because you can't see it doesn't mean that your choices, your food choices aren't causing it. You know, we're better than this as a species. We are better than this. We, we care for animals like, I was watching this movie called A Dog's Purpose. For me, it all began with a boy. <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie, and it just highlights a, it just focuses on how much we love dogs. Like, we love dogs so much. Like, we would ne I've seen this other YouTube video where people were getting offered like a million dollars to sell their dog, and they wouldn't accept it. No one would sell their dog. Good, man. You don't want to sell them for $100,000? $100,000, I'm good. Uh -huh. Really? Why is that? Because I love him. You love him? I love him. Yeah, uh, what about a million? If I could get a million together, would you do it? No, no, no. no. You want to sell him for a million dollars? Not even for a hundred thousand dollars. You would exchange it for no. me, not for her. <laughs> why, why, why won't you do it? As human beings, we love dogs and cats and horses, but these animals so much, and you can see, like, we, they're part of your family. Some, some people don't have any friends, just dogs. That's how much they love dogs. And if anyone killed or hurt a dog, like they do in Yulin, China, where they, where they torture the dogs because they believe the cruelty makes the meat taste better. You know, people can't handle that. Especially people in westernized countries where they love their, their pets. They can't handle seeing what happens to dogs overseas. And these other animals, these animals that, that you know, as non-vegans you eat, and we wear and we use, they are no different to, to any other pets that you have. No different at all. That they all have individual personalities, they care for their families, and they don't want to suffer, they want to live a happy life just like your dog does, just like you do. I'm just, I'm pleading with you, like, to, to get to know these animals, these animals that we've forgotten, go out, have a look, have a look at these farms, just, just, just connect with the animals, okay, and understand that your daily choices, every dollar you spend, can either go towards their suffering and violent death, or it can go to a cruelty-free option. You can support support vegan options, and it's so easy to be vegan. Um, it's ridiculously easy to be vegan. Most foods you eat are vegan already. Potatoes, rice, pasta, beans. I, I mean, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but the support network is here. I mean, as a vegan community, we're here to support you make the transition. Um, no one wants to commit horrible acts of violence against animals, but the problem is, is we're blindfolded and we don't know that our dietary habits are directly funding it and causing it. Okay, so I just thought I'd make that video directed to non-vegans. I know I've got a lot of vegans that watch this video, watch my channels, watch my video, but there, there are some non-vegans followers who watch my stuff. And yeah, this, this video is just for you, just to look inside yourself and connect, connect with these animals and understand um, what they're going through and make changes. But yeah, wherever you live, just just think like not too far away from you, there is these concentration camp like slaughterhouses where they just torture and kill sentient animals.